Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the breakout rooms feature in Google Meet. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, before we get started, this is currently only available to Enterprise Edition. So unless you have access to the Enterprise version of G Suite or Workspace, then you will not be seeing this feature at this point in time. Now, it is unclear if it will be rolled out to the other versions as well, but let's just have a look at what is possible with the breakout rooms. Now, the first thing we'll have to do is open up our Google Meet. Now, I'm here inside a Google Meet home screen, and this is part of an enterprise domain. So let's go ahead and start a new meeting. I'm going to click on that Join or Start Meeting, and I'm going to give it a nickname. So I'm just titling this Demo Meet Breakout Rooms, and we're going to click on Continue. Now, as soon as we go onto that next page, you'll get the preview, and this is all still the same as previous versions of Google Meet. Now here you can see I can select my camera and I can select all the other things in my settings. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to choose the correct camera right here, which is the user facing camera. As you can see, the camera preview shows up and everything else looks the same. I'm going to leave it at the default resolution and close this screen. Now the next thing I can do is join this meeting. Now I'm going to join with my microphone muted to avoid any feedback. And then I'm going to click on join now. I'm now in my meeting and I can share this link with others to join this meeting as well. So let's go ahead and copy this link here and I'm going to invite five demo accounts to this meeting. So down below you'll see I have one demo account here. Let's go ahead and join the meeting with my demo account. Okay, we are now in our meeting and I've invited five demo accounts. Now you can see all five accounts here and they each have their own avatar color. Now what I can do now at the top here, click on show everyone, you will see that those five accounts are here. These are all demo accounts and I would like to put them into breakout rooms. Now in order for you to get access to those breakout rooms, you're going to have to go to the top and click on an additional menu. You can see I have my menu of activities here. When I click on that, one of the options there is breakout rooms. So let's go ahead and click on those breakout rooms. We're going to click on breakout rooms and this now allows me to set up these rooms. The first thing I do is select how many different rooms I would like to open up. Now I'm going to open up two rooms. That means that these students will go into two different rooms. And then here down below, I can see those two different rooms. I can give them a name and a title so that it's clear to the students which room they are in. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to select two rooms. The main room is where I will remain. So you can see my name here. And then the first breakout room, well, we are going to call this brainstorming. So let's just go ahead and change the name, brainstorming, there we go. And we're going to have students two, three, and five. Well, I don't want student five in that room. So let's just leave student five in the main room with me, drag him up, and then he can stay with me in the main room. We're going to have a second breakout room. This breakout room will be called prototyping, prototyping. And they will be working on their prototypes. Now in this room, we have student one and four. Say that I want to swap it around and I want four in the brainstorming room and I want two in the prototype room. I can do this manually by just simply clicking, dragging and dropping those students. Once I'm ready to go, I click on that create button. So let's go ahead and click on create. These rooms are now being created. The students are being allocated those rooms. At the top, you can see it says breakout rooms are in session. Now let's jump into the student view and let's see what the student sees. Here we are in our student account and you can see here you're joining prototyping. You can return to the main room at any time. Let's go ahead and join that room. And we are now in the breakout room. This is a separate room. And at the top, you can see in prototyping, that's the room I'm in. And then they can always return to the main room. This can be done for all the other students as well. As you can see, they all click on join to join their breakout rooms. They have been allocated those rooms by the teacher. And then here you can see that the student remaining in the main room is still in that main room. The other students are each in their own breakout room. Here we have our student in brainstorming. Now myself as a teacher, I am in the main room here. I can always end them or I can personally join those breakout rooms by clicking on that join button here. So let's say that I want to jump into brainstorming and see what's going on. I can click on join and now I am joining that room. At the top, you will see that I'm in brainstorming and I can always return back to the main room or I can join the other one. So let's go ahead and jump into the other breakout room. There we go. We can see what's going on in that breakout room. 
We can make sure that our students are all on task. And then when we're ready to go back to the main room, we simply click on leave. This will send me back to my main room and my students can do the same. So say that student one here wants to return to the main room, he or she can click on return to main room. They are now back in the main room. They can ask their question and then simply rejoin their breakout room. So here at the top, you can see that they have been invited to prototyping. When they click on join, they get sent back into their breakout room. They cannot manually go into another breakout room because that's where the teacher has to allocate different rooms to different students. And that's breakout rooms in Google Meet. Now remember, this is a feature available on the Enterprise Edition. Hopefully this will come to the other versions as well. But in the meantime, if you want to have a go at using breakout rooms, Enterprise is the one you will need. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you want even more on Google Meet or any of the other platforms you can use for online learning and teaching, then I've got an entire playlist right here that you can click on. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.